Welcome back inside the Now Morning Show. I told you guys we're celebrating 59 years of independence this morning. And to kick things off, let's discuss firstly who we are as a people. And to do that, Michaela Pan is going to be chatting with researcher author Nasser Khan. Michaela? Hi. Good morning. Morning. Good morning, Mr. Khan. How are you today? Well, I'd prefer NASA, and if I can call you Michaela, I'm absolutely, doing one. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you so much. Uh, NASA, you're an author, journalist, researcher, producer, publisher. Can you, within a, a minute or so, tell us a little bit about yourself? So those who, who don't know you will know a little bit more. Well, Michaela, I've been on the local landscape doing some writing starting back in 2004 kind of a third career, always having a love for history and documentation and chronicling. And, um, you know, I'm going to my 23rd or 24th publication, usually with sponsors on the youth literacy um, um, models where all schools and libraries would receive the publications that I produce in collaboration with the ministries of education, agriculture, cult uh, and culture, depending on the subject matter. Those three things being my passion, education, uh, culture, and um, agriculture to some extent. So that's essentially who I am, and that's what I do today. And um, it, it, I mean, I'm, I'm pleased to be invited in, in among this esteemed panel that I, I understand will be yes, on. So uh, thank you for having me. Yes, and, um, thank you. Thank you for being here with us. Uh, Nasa, in 2012, in celebration of our country's 50th, 50 years of independence, you launched a book titled Profiles, Heroes, Pioneers, and Role Models, correct? Yeah, that's well, I, I happen to have one. Yeah, this, this was done with, uh, through the courtesies of First Citizens. And um, <clears throat> what it is with, in collaboration with the Curriculum Department of the Ministry of Education, yes. uh, we set about to figure out who are the people who would uh, check the boxes, do, who would fall under these categories. We came up with about 375 individuals. Of course, we started off with about 1,000. And we whittled it down to these 375 who, who made us who we are in terms of like, I think we had about 24 fields of endeavor from A to W from, you know, arts. Yes, I saw, I saw and you. There was sports, culture, arts, literature, education. Everything from, from education. Arts, every, everything. 24 areas of human endeavor. Politics, if, if you will trade unionism, sports, religion, everything from A to W. And we came up with these individuals. I mean, there were groups, but the book would take another another edition to, to come up with groups who have made us who we are. But th this was about individuals. 5,000 copies went to all schools and libraries. And then because of the demand by students for reference in their social studies, where citizens decided to have it as a free ebook online link that is still on to this day, and I'm okay. told by First Citizen that, that we have had 1.6 million hits. And, you know, that's, to, that's, to show the, 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 uh, what, what is used as um, reference by students. So you, there's a photo and a bio, a brief bio of everybody. Yes, I, um, I think your dad is in there somewhere. Um, but, um, you know, as one of our modern leaders. But, but this, this essentially a, is what this book is it's about. A, it's a, it's a non-exhaustive list, of course. We can't name everybody because we've had so many people uh, historically and even today who are doing a lot to help develop Trinidad and Tobago. What I wanted to ask you was, why did you feel, I mean, this is uh, 2012, so why did you feel it was our 50th anniversary, uh, independence anniversary, and I understand that, but why did you feel it was important to put together a book such as this at this milestone? Well, I, I think, too, it was such a milestone. We're such a young country. And, and as the saying go, you know, history, if not recorded, will be lost to time. And I think we had so many great authors, you know, the Michael Antonis, the Father Devotees, the Bridget Burton, Brinsley Samuel, Jerry Besson, Eric Williams, C.L.R. James, who have recorded, but there, there wasn't a one compilation that would put together these 375 individuals who, who were the pioneers, you know, not, not, not the modern people who followed in their footsteps. This was 375 people who we whittled down. In other words, if you didn't check as a hero or pioneer, or if you did something, but you 
you enslaved someone, I, oh, I, I don't think you made it into the, so there was a lot of discussion. And to this day, um, you know, I have not really had anybody saying, well, how come this one isn't in there or that one isn't in there? Because it wasn't an individual project. I had a team working to come up with the, the 375 or so people who made us who we are today. I, and, and, and I think you did a great job. Plus, right. history should form perhaps a bigger part or a wider scope or have a wider scope in our national curriculum. Because we all well, learn about the, Bo the Crimean War and Napoleon Ball. We learn world history. But, exactly. But exactly. What, what, what are your Michaela, views on you, that? I, I get you on that. I mean, at high school, in, well, we learned British history. That's right. And, and, and there wasn't the West Indian element. Of course, they would gloss over it. But to answer your question, definitely. I mean, if we don't know from where we came we, uh, in Trinipal, and we know where we're going, you know, we might end up somewhere in some dark hole that, oh, shucks, how we reach here. But if we are to teach our young ones and the new generation and we, we realign our, our teaching, we can understand ourselves and, and, and understand from whence we came so we'll know where we're going. And, and I, I kind of, in talking to our producer here, I was at, said, you know, you'll have about 10 minutes with Michaela, and I was very excited. So I basically went back through some of these history documentation and pulled out how we have become as a people, this rainbow nation, this melting pot of global traditions. Well, I was, I mean, was going to ask you that. I was going to ask you that, Nasa, and I know you, you have a lot to say, we're quite limited for time. Right. But so I, I was going to ask you, uh, Trinidad Tobago has been described as a, the culture capital of the Caribbean. And you published a book. It's called Celebrating Trinidad, uh, Celebrating Trinidad and Tobago's Culture and Arts. That's and this it, one, yeah. That's, that's right. That's right. right. And it vibrantly illustrates our, 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 our nation's diversity. Um, and I was going to ask you, in your research and documentation, how would you answer the question, who we are as a people? Right, right. So, so th this book, I mean, essentially, we are so culturally diverse, and and the reason for that will will jump out when I can. If you allow me to go through the timelines that brought us to who we are, and in getting to where we are, there have been so many cultural traditions that have been preserved. Tobago by itself, and which uh, your later guest may may allude to is a whole area of culture that the book uh, uh, focuses on because they have so many traditions that we don't have. So let me jump right in, if, you, if I can, can, Michaela, to tell you what I think has brought us to this rainbow country that, uh, uh, remember Archbishop Desmond Tutu when he came to, came to visit us in 2004, he described us as a rainbow niche country. I rem remember Michael Jackson coming here and, and, and it was, enthralled by the mixture and the uniformity, the same accent, you know, they, it's not like you go to another uh, metropolis and you see 50 different cultures and everybody speaking their, their own tongue. He came to Trinidad and there was, was everybody from, from that melting pot of global tradition speaking and sounding alike. And he was wowed by that. So I want to break it down into the, the uh, pre-1498 period, where B BC. Oh, no, so we, we, we don't have that much time and I was no, hoping... No. I, I will I will talk quickly. Okay. If you don't, okay, if you sure. don't mind. Because you know, if, like, if but they, I would like I would like our, our listeners to just, you know, be able perhaps in a nutshell to understand who we are as a people. Um, right. We we are we are exactly that. I'm a, an amalgam of, of our original peoples, our, our Spanish invaders, then our British uh, conquerors, yes. then we go into the, the African slaves, we are a, an amalgam of the the indented uh, in East Indians after slavery was abolished. Then we had the Chinese, the Portuguese indented laborers. Then we had the, 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 the Syrians, the, the Lebanese migrants. We had the French um, also coming in when the settler population was decreed. Um, so we have a whole bunch of, of, of areas. I mean, and then we had, we had significant events that, that, that defined us. We had Tobago joining us uh, with us in 80, 1888. We had Tobago being fought the most fought over country by the British, the Dutch, the French, the Spanish. Um, we have we have the, the, the events of, of 1962, our independence, I mean, celebrating this young nation 
We had people like Dr. Eric Williams from 1956 as our first chief minister, leading us to 1981. Then we had the Black Power Revolution. We had the oil booms from 73 to 82. We had the Republic status in 1976. Then we came to the attempted coup in 1990 and then closure of Carney Limited in 2003. All these things defined us in these 59 years and, and before to who we are today. I mean, um, that's who we are. We are, we are it's, a, it's a combination. Of, yeah, it's a that's who we are. That's from whence we came. That's right. Yeah, you and I are a product of all these things I mentioned, and we, we can't avoid it. But again, coming back to your original point, if we don't teach these things in schools, we, we will be a lost tribe going forward in that we don't know from where we came. All these rich And adopting other people's and cultures and adopting other people's uh, uh, history because we tend to be able to speak more about uh, foreign countries than we are about our own countries. Why, 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 you know, who is Sir Solomon Hocha? I don't know how many of our young people know. The, the, the Coco Payals, I met them. Yes. I, I left out that we have Venezuela. They came to work on the Coco plantations. I mean, there's so much history um, that, that you talk about Solomon Hochoi. That's what I have him among our modern leaders in the book. But we have Sir Solomon Hochoi, Eric Williams, who they don't know about Sir Ellis Clark, George Chambers, A.N.R. and Robinson, your father, Basil Pandey, Nu Hassan Ali, Patrick Manning, Maxwell Richards, Kamla Passad, says Anthony Carmona, and not currently Paula May Weeks and Keith Crowley. They don't know who these people are. They see them in the papers, they hear them talking but we don't teach our children who these people are, why they have become our leaders. It, it is important so they know how these people are, who they are and why they lead us. We, we are such a small country, 1.3 million on, on the world map, that there isn't even space to put a dot at times, but yet we have made such a contribution on the global landscape by producing leaders and contributors in every sphere of activity, which the book, um, you know, uh, attest to by some of these contributors making us proud and who we are today so absolutely and and nasa I, and we, we we're sort of running out of time so i wanted of to course. ask you if there were perhaps any words of wisdom you'd like to leave with us today on the eve of our independence well for sure i mean i want to thank you for this opportunity i want to wish Fernando and Tobago uh, a happy 59th it's the last day of 59th year of independence and 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 and, may, and I'll just say this kind of cornily, may we with discipline, production, tolerance, and prayer aspire and achieve together. Thank you so much, Rasa. Thank you for being with us here today. I truly enjoyed our interview. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. So that was Mr. Nasser Khan. Thanking him for being here with us this morning. Uh, we will now go to a short break and we'll return with... My good friend, Rockers, <laughs> who will be chatting with Liz Montano. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. So we'll take that break and come back with more. Stay tuned. Take care.